guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a haul slash review of makeup products I bought over a couple of months or over the couple of over a couple of weeks I think it's more weeks than months I don't know why I'm fooling like I didn't just get some of this stuff yesterday but anyway like uh, so I thought instead of just doing a haul where I'm just showing you stuff I got I would compile stuff I've gotten and have used and um, show you how it's working for me and how you know just basically how it's going so first i'll start with this makeup revolution vivid baked bronzer if you guys know me you know i'm always raving about these things like and they're worth raving like they're literally the most amazing things in the drugstore like these things are so pigmented and they're buildable as well um i don't know if you can see it it's here now I know what you're thinking, you're probably like, oh my gosh, that looks so ashy. Trust me. Trust me, it is not ashy on my skin at all. Like, trust me, daddy. Like, it's not ashy at all. Um, it's in the this one, the one I have. Actually, one of the ones I have is the shade Golden Days. And, I don't know, I just, I just like it so much. I would definitely recommend you to get this. Especially if you're darker or of a medium skin tone. It's a very nice highlighter and it's not like a like a glittery highlighter it's like a very subtle satin shimmer it's like a I'm there but I'm not really there but I'm still there at the same time highlighter I don't know if you guys get what I mean <laughs> another thing I got from Makeup Revolution is this eyeshadow and it's the baked mono eyeshadow they have a range of mono eyeshadows that come in like these little slots and I think the baked ones are £1.50 and this is a baked one so it was £1.50 and it's in the shade Heavenly I don't know if you guys can see it there it is and um, I quite like it if you guys have seen the video where I did my friend's makeup I don't know if that's going to be up before or after this but whenever it's up you guys will see it anyway that was the colour I used as the main lid colour for her and it looks so beautiful on her skin and I would definitely recommend it to everyone to try because it's quite a nice colour. Um, one thing I will say though is it has a lot of fallout so I would definitely recommend you do your eye makeup first than doing your foundation and then having glitter all over the bottom of your on your cheeks and that's not going to be very nice at all. You guys have already seen this in the video in the video I posted a couple of weeks ago and it's the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Spray amazing makeup fixing spray well I, I do agree with them like I don't exactly know what this does, but whatever it does, it does it well. And um, I imagine it's kind of along the lines, not sorry, not kind of along the lines, it's along the lines of Fix Plus and um, so sort of Mac Fix Plus, if you guys are aware, <laughs> if you guys are aware of Mac Fix Plus, really. But this definitely does what it does well. It says um, it makes your makeup look like you've just applied for up to 12 hours. I haven't used this when I've had to wear my makeup for up to 12 hours, but I mean, I've used it for up to 8 hours and it definitely does make my makeup look very vibrant and quite fresh. Um, yeah, this I recommend and it's £5. I think the rest of the haul is literally lipsticks, like, I'm not even going to lie, like, it's literally lipsticks. I don't know what's wrong with me, I, I have a lipstick problem. You guys should pray for me. So I got the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade ginger snap this is quite a nice neutral lip gloss on my complexion and definitely for people a bit lighter than me or much darker than me it's quite it's like a neutral brown chocolate brown lip gloss and it's quite pigmented because i've never really had a lip gloss that's as pigmented as this and this is actually quite pigmented and that's one of the reasons why i got it because the, many of the reviews said that it was pigmented and they didn't lie it's actually quite pigmented it smells like cake yeah, it smells like it's, it's scented. It definitely smells like something. So if you don't like anything with the scent, I probably don't recommend you get it. But yeah, there it is. There it is. And yeah, you can see it's like a brown color and it's very pigmented. And that was just like a tiny bit. It's quite sticky though. So yeah, do what you will with that information. And I'm usually not even a lip gloss person, but I just thought that it would be nice to get this because I got from eBay. And if you're familiar, with Colourpop, you're aware this is a Colourpop liquid lipstick. So, um, if you're in the UK and you're wondering how you can get Colourpop to the UK, you can get it from Depop, eBay, or you can actually ship it from America to England. 
Um, I'll leave links in the description box if you guys are wondering about how to ship it from America to England. And um, Depop is more of the random option because people just sporadically just sell things that they've shipped from America. And obviously, you're probably likely to have people that are selling them for really ridiculous prices because they know you can't get them in the UK. But I, I'd say eBay is probably so far the cheapest and better option for you because you get it quite fast and it's kind of a bargain if you take into consideration you know the shipping costs that it would take to even get it from America so anyway this is the shade Kapow and I debated for so long on whether or not to get this color then I saw it on Nikki from Jamie and Nikki if you guys know Jamie and Nikki I saw Nikki and I was like oh, there is no way I am letting this color pass me by there is no way so when eBay was doing the 20% off sale, I decided to pick this up so I can get it for a bit lower. And I think it was about, I think it was 10.99, so it was like 11 pounds, which was kind of annoying, but you know, the things we do for lipstick. So there it is. It's a, like a nude. It's like a nude with grey undertones. I think they described it as a grey on the website. But it's so beautiful. Like, I love this colour so much. Like, I thought it was going to be so wrong. But it's so right. Obviously, you know, I have to line it with, like, a brown lip liner. Because nobody wants to be looking like, you know, Chap City out here. So, you know, yeah. But, I mean, any colour lip liner, it looks... It ties any colour of lip liner. What am I saying? It looks so nice with, like most of the colors of lip liner i've tried so i tried it with like a burgundy i tried it with like a purple and they just look so it just looks so beautiful when it mixes with all these colors another thing i got was the city color lip liner in the shade current yes in the shade current this is the color here it's in the shade current and as you can imagine it's like a typical burgundy current shade and i really like this it's a very creamy moisturizing lip liner it doesn't drag on your lips it's not dry it doesn't suck off all the moisture on your lips it's quite nice to wear and if i was to compare it to any other lip liner i would compare it to the nyx lip liners actually so i wouldn't compare it to nyx, NYX lip liners because i hate the nyx lip liners and i think the things i don't understand everyone's always raving about them i'm like those things are terrible they're like chalk it's like drawing dragging chalk on my lips and nobody got time for that like these if you find the NYX lip liners really annoying, you're definitely not going to find these annoying. They're really soft and they're really cheap as well. I think it was like $199 and that's like, you know, about one pound something. So it was definitely a nice buy and I'll definitely recommend you try it. And there's also a wide variety of colors as well. I only picked up one because I just wanted to try the one. But I'll definitely be buying more because I really like the formula and, you know, it's just nice to have because lip liners are kind of an essential, especially for someone like me that wears so much lipstick. Then, on Depop, rather from Depop, I got a couple of Stila liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Aria and this is the color I'm wearing right now. This tutorial, I will be. Fil I filmed this tutorial, so there will be a video for this tutorial at some point. And is it? I don't know. This color, this pink. I'm not really into pink like that, but like, I feel like with the makeup I did today, I think it looks really nice. It's just it looks so pretty. And I'm just um, I think I'm maybe I'm crossing over to the pink liquid lipstick side. Nah, 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 nah. I don't think so. I think I always like vampy colors, but like this. I mean, I thought I wouldn't like it. Actually, I'm sorry, I didn't think I wouldn't like it. I saw it on other people and I thought it looked really pretty. So it was a big risk for me. But I'm very happy with how it looks on my skin. And then the annoying thing though, I got this on Depop. So it was sold as it's on its own. But it actually comes in a set. I would ideally have gotten the set. But it's just there were colours in the set that I didn't want. And there's two colours in the set that I wanted. And so I just said, you know, I'll just check on Depop. I'll just wait till somebody sells it on Depop. And I was lucky and yeah the set is still available if you if you want to get the color there's the star of the set in my opinion like i would have gotten the entire set just for this color like this color is just beautiful like it's the vampy shade i've been looking for all my life like this color is so beautiful and what helps as well is the fact that the formula is so amazing like this is the best liquid lipstick formula i have ever used and i've used quite a few liquid lipsticks this is the best formula i've used so i mean 
I don't know what all the other companies are doing out there, the ones I haven't tried, but so far, of all the ones I have, this is the best, and I can't imagine what could be better than this, because it's so buttery, and it just goes on so velvety on your lips, and it doesn't sink into, like, your fine, if you have fine lines on your lips like me, it doesn't sink into them and just make your lips so cracky. It's kind of moisturizing, not too moisturizing, like, you know, that it's not matte, but it's quite moisturizing for a matte um, liquid lipstick and your lips don't stick together I don't know if you guys have that thing you know, when you wear liquid lipstick and your lips just like they're like tacky and it's really annoying I find it really annoying but this one doesn't and here it is this is it here this color is so beautiful like I can't wait to do a tutorial with this color because the color is gorgeous like I saw it on this I saw it on this Indian youtuber I don't know what her name is I'm not even sure if she's Indian I think she's Bangladeshi or Bangladeshi or India, I can't remember what her name is. I will leave a link in my description box so you guys can check her channel out and check the video out. That was the video that I was sold. Like the color that I was sold on that video. I was just like, yes, honey. Yes, Stila, take my coins. Like just take it all. Just take it. The next thing I got was this city color matte lipstick. Um, in the shade cappuccino and it's quite nice it's like a peachy nude and here it is on my hand it's like a peachy nude color I usually don't like peachy nudes on my skin but it looks quite nice when I it looked quite nice when I paired it with the current lip liner from city color as well and it's quite nice to, and it's very easy to wear it's very easy to wear as well so you just pop it on your lips and just go with the lip liner of course but yeah it's a really nice color and I like the formula it's not very it's not too drying for a matte lipstick I wouldn't say it's moisturizing, but it's not like overwhelmingly dry. Are these brushes from eBay? It's a set of five brushes. These are the two. <clears throat> these are the two I haven't used, and um, these are very good brushes. I have to say, like I was a bit skeptical skeptical about getting them because you know eBay makeup brushes. That just I just imagine hair all over my face basically when I think of eBay makeup brushes. But I just decided to take the plunge and um, they're very good brushes. These are two of the other brushes but I've used these ones which is why they're dirty. But this is like a dense pointed brush which is good for like putting your concealer under your eyes. And this one is just like a slanted um, foundation or contour brush. I use this for my foundation just so I can reach into the hollows of my face after I highlight and stuff. So I don't, you know, put my foundation over my highlight. Um, and it's very they're very precise. They're very precise brushes. Um, there's another one. I think it's, that one's just like a face brush as well. But I mean, it's I would say the set is kind of like a face, an essential face brush set. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone, especially even if you're starting makeup or if you're a makeup expert. Like then, I would say they're nice to have in your collection because they don't shed on your face and they're very soft. Like like I'm so sad to say this but unfortunately they're equally as soft as my real technique brushes and I feel I feel like I'm cheating on real techniques but hey I mean real techniques like it's not every day real techniques money you know some days spend eBay money and get the same quality of brushes like the quality is amazing like it's the same as real techniques like I can't even I'm not even going to lie to you it's exactly the same as real techniques quality the only thing I find annoying is that there's a couple of hairs that are sticking out. They have whiskers, basically. Brushes have whiskers, but aside from that, they're fine. And I've washed them a couple of times as well, and they don't shed. They wash beautifully and easily, and yeah, it's not a problem at all. And I definitely recommend you get them. And it's a set of five brushes for five pounds. Yes, I'm not lying. It was a set of five brushes for five pounds. If I find the link for the one I got, I will put it in my description box for you guys so you guys can go ahead and get it. But yeah, I definitely recommend. Okay, check this. Like, if you hate washing your makeup brushes like me, and you dread having to scrub the makeup brushes on your palm, and your palms just be looking so crusty, like, look, I have found the secret, you guys. Like, this thing. Don't just look at this thing like it's an ordinary bean. Like this is this is not an ordinary bean. This is a godsend. Like I think I don't know why I've never heard of this on YouTube. I don't know, maybe I just maybe the people I just watch don't, you know, I don't know. They don't mind washing their makeup brushes with their hands, but I hated it so much. And now that I've gotten this, like I actually love washing my makeup brushes now. Like it just makes it so easy. Like you just all you do is it's like a it's like a little pad with like bristles. 
and it's like a silicone it's silicone so it's fine and everything and you just scrub your makeup you just i usually just soak my makeup brushes and i just run them over this thing and it's like doing it on my hand but it's so much easier and it's stress-free and it's not painful and you know my hands don't have to suffer i love this thing so much i got it from amazon and it was like one pound something it was under two pounds it's literally the best thing ever like i can't rave enough about this thing I actually can't rave enough about this thing. Like, I love it so much. I'll leave a link in my description box so you guys can check it out if you want to. Sorry, not if you want to. Like, just buy it, okay? Like, just buy it. But yeah, this is amazing. It's amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I hope you, you know, if you check out any of these products, let me know. Because I hope they work for you as well as, they, as, well as they've worked for me. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. And yeah. I know you won't cooperate But I know far too much to buckle now